there. You want to camp up there? Uh, we can camp anywhere. I mean, we can even camp on that little concrete. Wherever. Oh, we can camp here. That's easier. Anyways, good afternoon from our new campsite. We're currently in Savannah at the... What national park are we at? Skidmore. Skid Skidaway. Skidaway National Park in Savannah. We're going to be here overnight. This is our campground. I think we're going to camp there, pitch our tent. And then we've got some concrete, a picnic table, a little fireplace. And then right over here past the car is water and uh, electricity. So we're going to set up the tent. So over here is where our tent was in this nice puddle of water. Um, it was not raining before we put our tent up and then it started to monsoon and then it became a nice puddle of water. So because the rain lightened up a little bit, we decided to go ahead and move our tent. We put our tarp down and move our tent over here to where it's a little less wet. We're already been soaking it up more. So camping life. It's always an adventure. It's like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're going to get. So we're just leaving the Verizon store because Tyler um, needs a new phone because his is malfunctioning. And if you notice, he's uh, he just went in and wrapped his his trophy from whenever we played uh, mini golf. And he got a hold of one. But the Verizon store is busy, so we're coming back tomorrow. They're basically 90 degree angle steps and they're quite large. Yeah, they're like at least a foot tall. Yeah, they're like curve. really hard to go up, honestly. They're really hard to go down. They're not too, too bad going up, but they definitely hurt. Oh, there's a TV. Okay, can I keep going? But yeah, they don't look too bad on film, but trust me, they're bad. So, if the quality of the video looks better, um, that's because Tyler and I just got new phones. Yay! Tyler's not happy because he loves his old phone, which I get. But we're headed into the world's best distillery, the best place to get gin. I'm super excited. And I'm excited to get more gin. But this place is awesome. And we'll maybe do a taste testing. Thank you. Uh, we missed out on the tours. They had a ton of merch though. All right, Tyler is filling out our little sheet. I love that it blurs everything behind him and focuses on him. I'm obsessed with this new phone. But yeah, this place looks awesome. Uh -huh. 
So we just ordered it and this is what we got. And she said that she numbered it left to right on what we got, but this looks awesome. That so Will will try them and let you know. This is Jenny Jen. This is Jen. This is Jen. It's like normal Jen. I like it. It's kind of got that smell of like kangaroo. Okay. Next. The tiki spiked rum. Ooh. It's kind of like got a fireball taste. You yeah, know the cinnamon? And then the herbal bitters. It smells like herbs. Oh, that's actually like really smooth going down. Okay, and then we got the Swinging Bridge Mule, which has peach whiskey, some other kind of whiskey, and some other stuff. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Good? I like it. Mm -hmm. Very good. What was your favorite? Surprisingly, the herbal bitters. Hmm. I thought that was really good. It was very interesting. Cool. <laughs> Jenny Jen. The Jenny Jen. It kind of reminds me of Tangeray. Yeah, it has a little bit of those, like. The same, like. Acidity, kind of like notes or whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, they're wrong. <laughs> Don't smell it. <laughs> it's it's some, pretty like, good. Nutmeg to it. Yeah. It's got a lot of nutmeg mm -hmm. flavor to it on the back end. Yeah, I good. think that's the spice that I'm like tasting. Right. <laughs> that, good. It was interesting. Right, that's pretty good. Yeah. Right, and then nice. the cocktail. Surprisingly yeah. good. See, that cocktail is good. Yeah, like you can't really taste, it's not overwhelmingly whiskey or anything. Pretty good. What was your favorite? Cocktail. Okay. Well, what's your favorite shot? <laughs> the bitters, I agree. Yeah. It's interesting. I don't think you're supposed to really take shots of these. I think they're more of like mixtures. Like if we had some like um, soda water to put in them, like to water them down a little bit. Yeah, well, they're, you you're supposed to have them as cocktails. Mm -hmm. That's where they offer a cocktail. But you taste the gin. <laughs> That's real cute. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's good. Good girl. Someone's face is currently in this cup holder, looking out. Whatever's in there. What are you doing?
Are you hungry? Okay, I'll get you some food. You know, thinking of their needs. I, I, I didn't know. I don't want to hurt them. They're my friends. Okay, I'm gonna move this because you're like biting my foot. of tasting things with Tyler and Eris, we have a raw potato. <laughs> Should I feed it to Eris first? Sure. Hey. Let's see what you think. She's like, what do you have? <laughs> okay. How do you feel about this? What do you think? Did you like it? So whether she spits it out or whether she eats it all. What do you think about it? She's like, it's got a big crunch. I think she liked it. I would call that a success. Okay, and tasting with Tyler. I personally like the taste of raw potatoes. <laughs> it's kind of flavorless. I like the texture of them. But it does have a big crunch. Yep. There's I call that good a success. or bad. Good? Good or bad? Good or bad? Good! good. Yay! I said <laughs> bad. <laughs> there you have it. On tasting with Tyler and Eris. Haven't done this in a while, but here we have Eris. Today is June. Hold on. 
It's June 13th, Monday, and we got our little baby, our little baby. We're at the dog park. Um, there's, of course, nobody here. The only vehicle here is a person that's fishing, so as usual, she has tons of friends. Ready? <gasps> Go get it. But she's like so large and crazy. It's crazy. She's starting to get so big. We've just suggested to using a harness some of the time because I feel better that it's not choking her on her neck as much. <laughs> and also I have an easier time controlling her whenever we're walking uh, with the harness on. So Todd's gonna keep using the collar, but I will be using her little harness. We have to get her a new one because this is just a cheap one for Walmart that was like meant to be just a temporary one. So we gotta get we gotta get a new one, don't we? We gotta get a new one that fits you better. Yeah, ready? Go get it. We gotta get a new one. Go get it. Go get it. We haven't weighed her in a while though, so we need to do that this week. But there's your update on the little baby. Our little baby. Oh, good job. Okay, then she just, she's like, forget it. If anyone wants to know what it looks like when you get an heiress out of the dog park, it's this. There is one leg. I don't even know where the other leg is. Somewhere down there. And just fully laying on me. She's like dying. We have the AC blasting though. But <laughs> she's like so sticky funny. Look at that tongue. Ooh, all that slobber, baby. All that slobber. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're so cute. Eris walking before her training. <laughs> She's like, I got that big, big energy. Come on, you're Come normally on. not this bad. Like, she's obnoxiously bad today. Because she knows she's getting trained. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. Get your stick. Come on. <laughs> Do you have a stick? <laughs> Hey, ready? <laughs> For the love of sticks. Yeah. Ready? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get your stick. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I'm gonna get your stick. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, ready? Go get it. Literally every time I record, she's like, no, thank you. Ush. Seriously, Paris? What the heck? Ready? Minimum effort. <laughs> Getting tired. It's been a few days since we've gotten back home. The 
drive was exhausting, but thankfully Air slept most of the way. Honestly, I slept most of the way too. Um, and we had a successful trip. It was a lot of fun. We really enjoyed it. I actually just dropped Eris off to get trained for the week. So we'll pick her up on Saturday. Today's Tuesday. So she'll be there for five days. And hopefully all of that will go well. But we shall see. Tyler and I are about to spend uh, the next couple of days in OKC. And it should be good. But I hope you enjoyed our trip. Overall, it was a success. And with that being said, we'll see you all next time.